Today we want to find out what fast food brand really has the juiciest hamburgers. Burgers! You got lunch. We, well, sort of. <laughs> All right. I think every burger brand has at some point advertised that they have juicy hamburgers. Sure. And in the case of burgers, that means the, the beef has oh, moisture. Pick that one up. That's, I mean, we got some, some decent burgers. This is okay. a, this one's smaller. But I just got the smallest burger that had the large patty. Okay. So in a burger, juiciness is moisture that's still in the beef patty. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to find out which patty really has the most moisture compared to other ingredients. Here's the basic idea. With two different hamburgers from three different fast food restaurants, we want to find out what burgers are really the juiciest. So we'll weigh them, freeze dry them, and see which brand had the most moisture to lose. So here's the plan. We're not trying to compare the whole assembled sandwich. Mm -hmm. We're just looking at the burger patties themselves. Perfect. What we're gonna do is take those burger patties off and then trim them down so they all weigh the same amount. Here we have our McDonald's standard hamburger. We got a uh, McDonald's quarter pounder with no cheese. I intentionally got no cheese on the ones that I picked up because we want just the burger and cheese sticks to it a lot. So you can see a considerable difference between the burger patties, McDonald's normal cheeseburger or hamburger and their quarter pounder, the Wendy's little hamburger. So it is actually a square patty. It's just a really small, thin square patty. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a big old burger here. It's called the Dave. The Dave. Burger King burger. Oh, there's so much ketchup on that and the Whopper. I see what you mean about the patties being a different size. Yep, they have their standard and their bigger. Tastes like hamburger. Hey, that's what we're hoping for. <laughs> McDonald's standard burger cooked weight, 28 grams for their little burger and 73 grams for their bigger burger. Now, they do say that when it's a quarter pounder, that is the pre-cooking weight. So we are now at much less than a quarter pound. We're at approaching an eighth of a pound. That's almost half the weight difference. So I wonder if they're really starting with a quarter pound hamburger. Seems a little much, but Wendy's standard little, we're getting 33. Mm, okay, a little bit so bigger. So much bigger. 33 and 70. Burger King's Little Burger is coming in at 37. Okay, okay. And then the burger from their Whopper, 74. All right. So all pretty much comparable to each other. Yeah. So we want to trim the Wendy's and the Burger King down to being 28. Okay. So that it's just all exactly the same. Well, he little, does that, I'll eat pickles. A Little bit at a time. I don't know how much I need to be taken off here. Now, do you think with the bigger burgers, we should cut them down to 28 or just the smallest of the three? Let's do the smallest of the three so we All can right. tell them apart easiest. We have freeze dried our hamburgers. Uh huh. And they're actually not as like not as light as styrofoamy. Be. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of what's in them isn't going to any fat won't mm -hmm. come out in a freeze dryer. But we uh, we also went ahead and got some of the the burgers again. McDonald's was so confused. Accommodating but confused in giving us just the patties for the big ones. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do kind of want to do like a side by side taste test. Yep. To without measuring first, we want to see which one seems like it's the juiciest. Okay, I like it. This Plain is, burger. <laughs> burger. This is the Whopper. Patty. They got nothing else on it. Uh, just... It makes it a lot easier for us though. Oh, Wendy's did not want to go uh, cheeseless. It's not they a very objective They all must have just been either. so confused with yeah. us. Okay, all right. so uh, let's try the, the, I'm just gonna take a bite of the small one here. Okay. I gotta say, it doesn't taste very juicy. Mm -hmm. It's very dry. McDonald's bigger patty. Significantly better texture than the little patty. Way improved and definitely juicier. I actually like the flavor of the Burger King ones best and I think mm -hmm. that's their whole frame, flame broiling thing okay. that they do. I'm liking uh, Wendy's. This has like a smoky flavor to it. 
Which is funny, because I always thought I liked McDonald's the most. It's turning out that no, I don't. Let's measure stuff, let's find All right. out. All right, so everything, the small patties, we had 27 28. grams, 28. 28 and 70. 28 grams is what we started with. Yep, small was 28 grams. That was very light. So what are you starting with, McDonald's? McDonald's. Is now? McDonald's is now 14 grams. So we've lost 14 grams okay. of moisture. Next is Wendy's. Wendy's is now 15. So huh. we lost only 13 grams of moisture. Okay. All right, and Burger King, we are at 14 grams. So wow. that's the same amount lost. Burger King and McDonald's lost the same amount of weight. Wendy's lost one gram less. I was wrong. I was wrong on the small patties. Um, well, All right. Wow, this McDonald's burger feels light now. Okay. Was 70, now it's... Was 70, now is 33. Wow. So again, almost exactly half. This is just, mm -hmm. like, just more than half. Mm -hmm. 35 would be half, 33, so that means it's lost 37. Okay, <laughs> Wendy's. Wendy's weighs 36, okay. so again, less moisture. We only lost 34. Again though, it could still have that fat in there. It could, and fat is going to give the, the feeling of juiciness the and yeah. the, the flavor is gonna be stronger there. And the Burger King patty has 38 grams still, so, that, so that's even two grams okay. less than Wendy's. So that's putting the large McDonald's burger mm -hmm. as the juiciest one there was. By weight, yeah. It lost more than half of its weight to water. If we are looking at which burger lost the most water moisture, mm -hmm. the McDonald's Quarter Pounder won. And again, remember, we cut them all to be exactly. the same weight. There is a slight difference in you know how the burger is shaped and cooked the thickness of it could affect it because the, the edges are obviously going to lose more water mm -hmm. than the middle parts. That's not getting quite as hot. It's not gonna lose as much of the liquid. But with what we did, which was as close as we could get to getting them all equal, McDonald's had the most water to lose out of all of them. Here's something really weird. I like this. And that is Meat crackers. Weird. I like meat crackers, apparently. There's our scientific-ish findings on which burger is the juiciest. Turns out McDonald's wins this round if you're talking about the larger burgers and it's mm -hmm. tied for Burger King, both of them ahead of Wendy's with the smaller burgers. And I still like the Wendy's flavor best. All right, well, mm -hmm. that's why we've got variety in the world. So yeah. you can choose what you like best. Guys, is there anything else weird you want to see still with fast food? Let us know. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that box and check out our other videos. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.